This is a brief overview of the History GCSE at Litcham School. Throughout this two-year course, you will study four units in total, and there are three exams all taken at the end of Year 11. On the first exam paper, we cover the British thematic study with the Historic Environment Unit. This is where an aspect of history, a theme, is taken and studied across a long period of time. We study medicine in Britain, and we also, for the historic environment part of this unit, look at surgery and treatment for the soldiers in the trenches on the British sector of the Western Front in World War I. Please be aware that if you are squeamish, you will struggle to complete this unit. This unit is studied in Year 11. Paper 2 includes two units, both of which are studied in Year 10. The first one is a period study. We look at the American West in the 19th century. And unlike the movies would have you believe, it's not just cowboys and Indians. In fact, it's about the systematic genocide of the First Nation peoples of America. The second unit that we study for Paper 2, also in Year 10, is the British Step Study. This is Anglo-Saxon and Norman England. So we look at life in Anglo-Saxon England before the Norman invasion. We look at the battles of 1066 and how the Normans were able to invade England. And we then look at how the Normans conquered England and the changes that they made, the huge impact that they had on this country, which shapes the way in which we live today. So those two units, the American West and Anglo-Saxon and Norman England, both together form paper two, and both of those units are studied in year 10. The final unit is for paper three, and this is the modern depth study. For this unit, we study Weimar and Nazi Germany. So we look at Germany following the immediate end of World War I and the huge chaos that followed. We look at how the Weimar politicians struggled to find a way to put Germany back together. We also then study the rise of Nazism and how the Nazis changed life in Germany. This unit stops at the beginning of World War II, so in 1939. Please note that throughout the history course, there is a huge volume of writing involved. Therefore, if you are opting for History GCSE, you have to be prepared to do a large amount of writing.